Hi friends, it's Mr. Eric again with a message for you from God's Word. I hope you are having a great week. Um, who likes to read? Raise your hand if you like to read or like to have someone read to you. I love books. And so today, before we talk about God's Word, I'm going to talk to you about a book that I liked when I was a whole lot younger, and I, I still like now. How many of you have ever read Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day? The title kind of tells what the book is about. Um, Alexander is a kid, and he had a bad day. He actually kind of had a, a pretty bad day. You know, he, he fell to sleep the night before, and he was chewing some bubble gum. And when he woke up, the bubble gum wasn't in his mouth. It was all in his hair. Yeah, they had to, they had to cut it out. And then he went to school. And his friends were mean to him. And then when it was time for lunch, all of his friends had their favorite desserts in their lunches and he didn't have any dessert at all. And then when he went home, they had lima beans for dinner. He hates lima beans. And then he sat down to watch TV with his family and there was all sorts of kissing on TV. Ah, right? Every time something bad would happen, he would say something like, oh, I just want to get out of here. I want to run away and go to Australia. Sometimes we feel like that, don't we? Sometimes when things are not going our way, we just want to give up and run away and go to Australia. Or maybe we just want to cry. Or maybe we just want to be left alone in our rooms for a while. Or maybe we just want to be mad. Well, there is a different book that helps us out. Our Bible. And our Bible points us when things go wrong that we should turn to God. We should remember that God is with us. The Bible verse that I want you to remember today comes from Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. What that means is that there is nothing that is more powerful than our God, and He is on our side. And he wants to be with us through good times and with bad. And he'll always be with us. He's never going to run away. He's never going to go to Australia to get away from things. He's going to stick with you all the time. You have a friend that will never abandon you, never go away, never leave you. And he'll go with you through those hard times. And he will bring you through because he loves you. God will never stop loving you, even if you do a bad thing and you get punished and you know it's a bad thing. God will never say, well, you're so bad. I, I don't want to be your God anymore. I don't want to be your friend anymore. God will love you and God will forgive you. And so this week or any time, if you're having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, things aren't going right, you are upset, you're mad, Remember that God is there with you, and he will always be your friend. He will always forgive you for the things that you do wrong. And so we should forgive one another. Would love it if you would pray with me right now. I will go ahead and say a prayer, and then you repeat after me, and that way we pray together, okay? Dear Jesus, sometimes I have bad days. Sometimes bad things happen. Help me remember, you are always with me. You will always love me. Help me to realize that you are my strength. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful and safe week. I hope that uh, you have fun trick-or-treating and celebrating Halloween, and we will talk to you next week. Goodbye.